How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Zach, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer music from your computer to your iPhone. And I absolutely love this process for a few reasons. Number one, it's fully compatible with both Mac and PC, so it doesn't matter what computer you have, I got you covered. And two, it's completely free. You don't need to pay absolutely anything, you don't need to buy anything, you don't need to subscribe to anything, and you don't even need to be an Apple Music subscriber. So as I said, completely free, everyone can do it. Now, without further ado, let's begin. So we're gonna transfer music from the computer to the iPhone using iTunes. That's why I said it's completely free because iTunes is a free software. So we'll be able to transfer any songs, any music, albums, playlists, anything that's right here on the iTunes library directly to the iPhone. And it's super, super easy. So if you have a Mac and you already use iTunes and all that, you're ready, you're set to go. Same thing if you are a Windows user and you already use iTunes, you're also all set, all ready to start. But if you don't use iTunes or if you are a Windows user and you have never even downloaded iTunes, I'm gonna have a direct link in the description so you can go ahead, download iTunes, install it, so then you'll be ready to start with the process. If you have never used iTunes and your iTunes library is completely empty, I'm going to show you very quickly how you can actually add music to your library because naturally uh, you're going to need to have them in the library in order to transfer to the iPhone. So let's say you have music right here on your computer but your iTunes library is empty. All you need to do is just drag and drop. So you can drag any song that you have, as I said, al full albums, playlists, anything that you have right here, any music that you have, you can drag and drop in the iTunes library, so then it'll be right here and ready to be transferred to your iPhone. As easy and as simple as that. Now grab your iPhone and connect it to the computer using the cable. Yes, we'll need a cable for this process, so then get a cable a high quality, preferably a genuine authentic Apple cable, plug one end to the computer, as I said, this works for Mac and PC, and the other end you can connect to your iPhone, as you can see right there. Make sure it's charging, it's connected. If it asks you to trust the computer, you can go ahead and trust it. And just to prove it to you that there are no gimmicks here or anything, I'm gonna open up my music library, and as you can see, no songs. It's completely empty on their library, completely empty, all right? So, let's go ahead and start. And it's super simple, because now you're gonna need to open up iTunes, so just open it up. If you're doing this on a newer, updated Mac, you're gonna do this using the Finder app, right? So as I'm using here an updated Mac, it's gonna be done through the Finder app. So then under Locations, click on your iPhone, and then is, this will be displayed. So all the information regarding your iPhone. If you're doing this in a Windows PC or a older Mac, a not really updated Mac running Mac OS Mojave or older, you're gonna need to actually open up iTunes as I mentioned and then click on a teeny tiny iPhone icon that would be displayed once you plug in your iPhone to the computer. I'm gonna put on the display right now how it looks like. So then as you can see, there you have the teeny tiny iPhone, the red arrow pointing to it. So just click on that teeny tiny iPhone icon. As you click on that icon, you'll see a screen very similar to this. So we're all on the very same page. Again, if you're doing this on Finder on newer Macs, you're gonna click here on music, just here on music, and then that's where the magic happens. And if you're doing this on a Windows PC or an older Mac, so if you're using iTunes, you're gonna actually look for music right here on the side. It'll be right here on the side under iPhone, so then, then click on music right here on your left sidebar. So click on music, and again, you see a screen very similar to this. So again, we're all on the same page. Now, we're pretty much done, because all you have to do is click on sync music onto your iPhone A. It'll be right here. And then you have two options. You have option number one, which is sync your entire iTunes music library, or just selected artists, albums, genres, or playlists. I'm gonna click here on selected artists, and then you have the option to include videos 
and also uh, fill free space with songs, but we don't need any of that. So then just scroll a bit down and then you can select the music that you want. If you want to select, of course, you can sync the whole thing. Okay, so I'm just going to select this artist right here, Jonas. I'm going to select this guy and then I'm going to apply and then just wait for it to sync and it's super fast, it's super instant and I'm not even going to cut the video or anything. And as you can see right here, here we have it. There we have it. So then we have the guy, we have the artist, the songs are here and they're perfect. Instantly, I can transfer music from my computer to my iPhone for free, super easy and that's it. That's literally it. And I'll see you on my next video as usual. Bye bye.